So here we have the Vauxhall Crossland on a 21 plate. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car first of all. As we approach the back of the car you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way round. Briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right hand side. In the center at the top, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. And beneath that, the trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 37,887. You can change the information that's displayed uh, above that using controls on the indicator stalk. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer, as you can see. If we back out to the steering wheel next. We have our cruise control, speed limiter, heated steering wheel, and then over on the right hand side, stereo and phone controls. In the center, we have the main touch screen for the car. So up on here, you can access, amongst other things, your satellite navigation. You can pair your phone. Your audio menu is, of course, available there. We have DAB, AM and FM radio, USB input, iPod input, and Bluetooth audio as well. And on top of all of that, Depending on the phone you have, we have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay available as well. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, you can either hit auto. The car will now maintain those temperatures for you. Or with your manual settings on, you can see there we have air conditioning on or off again. We've also got a heated driver and passenger seat both with three heat settings each 12 volt charging socket two usb inputs plenty of storage down here the six speed manual gearbox and then in front of that we have child locks you can turn on and off parking sensors you can turn on and off you can turn on and off the stop and start uh, lane departure warning system tire deflation warning system and also your traction control as well all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at MJA Car Sales. We'd love to hear from you soon.